Hello, here's a really quick video on how to factory reset this BT whole home Wi-Fi uh, disc manufacturer part number 088269 or if you've got the quad bundle 095663. If you've forgotten the settings or the password or you need to factory reset uh, this device on the back of it to the left of the power button is a factory reset hole. You need a paper clip or something similar to press that button. Their manual says that you need to just press it. Uh, I found that I needed to press it for about three seconds before it actually lost the settings. Otherwise, it would just reboot and come back with the same settings. So over here, my network is called I Need Reset. So I can see several of them there, for the two, uh, 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz. I'm going to hold this down for three seconds. So here goes. and then I'm going to let go. And the power light on the front should go off. And now we wait for it to boot up again. While we wait for that to start up, I will say that one time when I did this, the satellite point didn't factory reset back to its normal name. When I went into the admin interface and set the name again, so I changed the setting for the Wi-Fi on this one, it then updated it on the, uh, the satellite. But for some reason, one time when I did it, the satellite didn't factory reset along with the first one. So just be aware of that if you uh, need you can either go and factory reset the satellites or change a setting on the main one and it will probably then sort out the settings on the satellites. So I can now see on the phone over here with the Wi-Fi scanner that it's reset the main one to BT Whole Home and uh, the number and the other ones have stopped transmitting at the moment. and still waiting for the other ones to come back online as well. And they're taking a very long time to come back. Okay, so I think it's come back but has not changed its name. So it's done what I've now seen happen twice uh, out of probably about five or so resets. So I can see BT Whole Home, which will be this one, and I can see I Need Reset, which will, it will be the satellite. And I presume if I go further along in the house, I'll see the other one, which is also still on the old name. So what I'm going to do now is 
get the password card out and I'm going to log in to the disks which you could probably also do through the app. I'm going to go to the setup tab. What I'm going to do is change the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth to 40 megahertz which will uh, give faster speeds for older devices and I'm going to click on save and we'll see whether it sets the name across the other devices. The other thing I could have done is gone and put the paperclip in the back of the satellite devices. However, I don't think you should have to do that and I'm sure some of the times I've done the factory resets, the uh, client devices or the satellite devices have also changed their name along with the, uh, the master device. So there we go, it's now changed that satellite device just by going into the uh, Wi-Fi settings on the disk and changing an arbitrary thing. You could change the password, change the name. In my case, I changed the uh, 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth and uh, press save. And then the uh, satellite device has now changed and gone back to the name that it should be. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. Thank you very much.